The button has been pressed. Hello, happy people. Uh, welcome to my copycat vlog. And in this one, I will try not to talk so much at the beginning because the action that I'm about to show you is way better. <laughs> I'm not the mother of dragons, I'm the mother of alpacas. I have been really obsessed with alpacas for a long time. The reason is I spent my quarantine in Switzerland, the best place on earth, and I really enjoyed the nature and I made walks around and there was a farm nearby which had very, very cute alpacas. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. You cute little alpaca. You live in Switzerland. You chose a good country to live in. I'm gonna give you some snacks. One of my dreams, and I didn't know that I have this dream until like a year ago, is to hang out with alpacas. I had no idea how to. So in these situations, I use Facebook groups. And one of the groups that I used was Switzerland Girl Gone International. And I received a lot of advice. Obviously, during COVID, right now, it's a bit difficult. It's a tricky situation. I learned about such thing called alpaca tracking. And I was like, what is alpaca tracking? You are given an alpaca and uh, you get to walk with one for a couple of hours around the forest. And I was like, oh my God, this is actually possible. So like you actually get a leash and you can walk with alpaca and hug alpaca. Want a smaller one? Oh my god, I wanna... <laughs> that's so adorable. That sounds like a dream. Honestly, I was like, I have to do it. Checking all the available options, we found one in Bern. As you can see, all my dreams are basically connected to animals. Surprise, surprise. Alpacas are super trainable, even more than dogs, or at least that's what I read at some of the farmer's blogs. And I was like, wow, these animals are really, really intelligent. Actually, alpacas have uh, the long-term memories, so they would remember you even if you come back, but they also would remember if a person did something bad to them. So don't do bad things to alpacas. They're angels sent to us from above. Just be nice to them. Don't hurt them. I'm shutting myself up now and watch the vlog. Just came to the center to see alpacas. And here normally there are events, but right now they aren't happening. Here are the furry prints and different brochures about it. And you are even allowed to take one snack with you. Because the restaurant is not operating right now. Mmm, chocolate. This looks very nice. So here they are, and here are all these beautiful alpacas. Hello, guys. I still have no idea which ones we can choose. Don't know their names, but they all look very adorable. Look at them. <laughs> hello, hello, friend. Hello. You're so cute. <laughs> hello. Not on the leash. <laughs> Camilo wants they to They need walk. guiding. This is the alpaca I got. He's called Camilo. <laughs> and how old is Camilo? Camilo is around eight now. Eight? Their life proximity is until 20. Is that true? Correct. Yeah, we yeah. have one female who is 20 now and still pregnant. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Hey, Camilo? <laughs> Camilo, we can eat later. We can and eat Camilo later. Boss, so ben want, want Camilo, let's go. Ah, let's go. Yeah. Ah, he's like the leader. Yeah, Camilo is the leader. Because he's older. Oh. So I just had to swap and get this gentleman who is called Ben. Ben is two and a half and he is much more calm than Camilo. Camilo makes a lot of rounds and he is not as calm. Here is Camilo. Here is Camila making rounds. And Ben is just standing like, I'm a calm boy. What do you want from me, silly people? Hope it's not gonna cause your stomach ache. Cause, ah, actually, it, it looks like it's sharp, but it's not that sharp. It's rather soft. Okay, lunch later. Ben, let's go. Ben, let's go now. So, we got very different personalities. Ben here is very agreeable very cute but walks very slowly 
And this guy is called Camilo. Camilo is the leader, but he walks a bit too fast. And we thought that we can get it to, to our speed. And you can see Camilo just does his own thing. He walks wherever he pleases and he walks very fast. And sometimes he makes a lot of rounds. You're a hungry boy, aren't you? Hungry boy. Someone is a hungry boy. This is a beautiful forest. And these guys having very early lunch, even though the plan was to walk them. But they decided they need lunch first. <laughs> you need lunch first, right? Okay, the leader says we go again. He just runs. <laughs> ben, let's go. Ben, Ben. Oh, look at this guy. Well, he's only posing when he raises his head from the grass. <laughs> Camilo, Camilo. Let's put. Yes, very good. Now you're getting more friendly. The more they eat, the friendlier they get, which is kind of logical, like humans. I think it's mainstream to walk the dogs, so I decided to have <laughs> some, some other boys to walk. Apparently, what I learned about alpacas is that they have to stay boys together with boys and girls together with girls. So we just got two boys. And all they care for is actually food, not walking like I expected. <laughs> but Camilo can run. Camilo, let's run, let's run, let's run. <laughs> He's like, do you think I'm crazy to run when I have food in front of me? <laughs> okay, Camilo just refuses to get up. This is Belty. Belty has a belt around. <laughs> Very beautiful. She's called Dreamer? Yeah. I like his haircut. I like the name. <laughs> haircut is perfect. <laughs> Come on, Camilo. We can take the sandwich, but this guy decided he takes some grass and he just walks like this without, <laughs> without letting it out from his mouth. Ben, but now you're walking quite well. Good job, Ben. you out of my mind it's like i feel it for the first time been thinking about you all night i've been searching for this all night any boys <laughs> he's like okay you guys tell me what to do I want to do the race. Let's try it. Alpacas scare the horses. Horses really get afraid of them. Let's try. Okay, someone's trying to run and won't let me film this video. Wait, wait. Come, come like this. Wow. I mean, I don't know what... Because horses have teeth. I just gave this horse an apple. And it's so sweet and peaceful. <laughs> Unlike our alpacas, it actually seems to be interested in us. But now, of course, you want another apple, right? Oh, so sweet. 
I have never been a fan of horses, but now I'm just falling in love with this one. It's just like came out and <laughs> it's leaking my arm. <laughs> it's so sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to live on the farm and just be with this cute sweetie pies and that would be my dream. Never thought of myself as a farm girl. I think we had another apple somewhere. Maybe we should give it. <laughs> dream came true today so after visiting alpacas that I can walk I came to the farm that's next to me to see how are alpacas that I visit every day doing and I brought a little treat from yesterday's farm <laughs> this is some hay and honestly I have no idea if these guys really like hay or maybe they're just used to eating the grass. I don't really know what their habits are, so let's see. <laughs> so here we have hay and I try to give it to them. I mean, <laughs> they eat it, but uh, like without um, crazy enthusiasm. Maybe different alpacas like different things. Who knows? I once brought them small apples and I um, cut them in small pieces and they were like super excited about it. So one alpaca differs from another. Bernese alpacas love this stuff, hay, and these guys, not that crazy. Okay, you wanna come, come here. I will give you a hay. It's yummy, it's yummy. It's yummy, you're gonna like it. You Well, this whitey one just had some. <laughs> Look how he scratches himself. So adorable. <laughs> so cute. Scratchy scratch. Come here and I can scratch you. Yeah. I can give you some hay. Yeah. No, they're independent guys. They're like, what can you give us? Oh, you have to come closer. You have to come a bit closer. I cannot reach, baby. I cannot reach. It's like something smells okay, but I'm not gonna make too much effort. Baby, you see I cannot go through the fence. There is a fence here, I cannot really make it. Okay, I have to stop filming and try to stretch. Oh, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Let's see if these guys would want something. Hey, cutie pie, hello. Hello, cutie pie. I have something for you. I have something for you, which you might like. This is not electroshock, okay. Hello, hello. You're also curious. You're also curious. Oh my god. Ah, sorry for my voice. This is just super adorable. <laughs> if alpacas don't want the hay, clearly I found the correct audience for it. <laughs> this is the best thing. I just hope it's okay for you. Oh, and here comes the the main one. Are you the main one? They were like, before I, I can't care less. Now that just don't break the. <laughs> okay, wait, baby, your friends also. Baby, your friends also deserve some. <laughs> oh. Okay, all they care for is food, but that's normal for animals. <laughs> hey, don't, don't do this to a smallie. Don't do this, that's not nice. The smartest girl here is this one because the other two are fighting and in the meantime you're just eating what you're supposed to. That's sometimes how it works with people as well. You are not getting any because you are being mean. I don't like mean. Not people, not gold, okay? That's why your friend is getting, your friend is getting some, your friend is getting some and you don't get, you don't get because that's not fair. Okay, well you're doing this, I'm feeding your friend. I'm just feeding your friend. That's how it works, my friend. If you stop kicking them with your horns, you would get some too. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, you, <gasps> you broke the fence. Okay, your farmer is not gonna be happy. So we have to come down here a bit. Let's go to the other side. I don't know. It looks like... 
this can be. You are the mean guy. I don't like you. Hey, and you're gonna break the key. If I was typing something on the keyboard, it would be just like capitals, 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 because that's how unreal it felt for me. I still have a couple of dreams. One of them is to uh, swim with the dolphins, for example. Another one is to go to a place where like butterflies get to sit on you. And I also want to do the dog sledding in Canada. So maybe one day I'll get to do that. I'm sure that my adventures with alpacas are not over yet. In the future, I will try to do that again. It was super fun. It was one of the greatest experiences I had. For me, hanging out with animals is some sort of meditation. So it was very, very pleasant experience. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog and possibly got inspired to visit alpacas. Thank you for watching this video till the very end. I very much appreciate your likes, your comments, and if you liked it, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. Your copycat!